I just don't remember how all this happened. You see, all this was not supposed to happen. It, it happened so fast. And if you remember my channel from just a few, you know, few years ago, it was really just me sitting down, trying out different speakers. And I set out on this journey to try different speakers because that's what I like to do. Speakers, gear, amplifier, DAC, whatever. But now this room is filled with speakers. This entire building is filled with speakers. So you may ask, right? Like after hearing all those speakers, you must have an answer to what is the best speaker out there for the money. Is it DIY? Is it single drivers? Is it concentric drivers? Is it, there must be some formula that makes a good speaker good. And there is, but at the same time, there isn't. So I just finished reviewing the speaker, now it's going back to PSB. This is the PSB B600 Synchrony, a relatively a new speaker. So every time I review a new speaker, I get many different types of questions from many different people. Why didn't you buy it? That's one. Um, does it suck for some reason? Uh, third, how does it compare to this X brand? A lot of those. But at the end of the day, the main question that this all have in common is which one is the best? Which one should I buy? Because I want to spend the least amount of money for the maximum amount of performance. And that is the most trickiest thing. And you may think, like I said in the beginning of this video, after hearing so many speakers, I may have, or someone else more experienced than me may have a firm answer to that. Anyone that tells you that they do, it's my sincere belief that they're bullshitting out of their ass or they're trying to sell you something. There will always be someone telling you what is newer, better, the next best thing. And I'm that guy. You know, I bring speakers in, I review them, and I don't know how this happened, but I get the opportunity to listen to a lot of speakers, AB them directly, and report back to you guys. And I enjoy doing that. I enjoy hearing multiple different speakers. But at the end of the day, if you are enjoying your system, that is what you should focus on. Finding new music on your system is way more rewarding. And I know this has been said over and over again, but it is way more rewarding than changing your speaker. Even changing the placement of your speaker, really tweaking it is the best way to go. I mean, let me give you an example, right? If I give a camera or a car to a person who has no clue about the actual device they're using, whether it be a car or the camera, then they're not gonna really get the best performance out of it. It's the same thing with speakers, it's the same thing with gear. You just gotta keep playing around with it, unless, there's an exception though, unless you absolutely hate it from the very beginning. Then it's better for you to pick a brand or a speaker that you kind of connect with right away, but then you tweak it from there on. So that is where I come in and try to help you out. But again, if you bought a speaker, let's say I recommended three months ago, let's say the Tecton lower speakers, and then you go, wait a minute, now he's talking about this other speaker and he's saying all these good things about it. Should I sell my Tecton lower and then buy the CSS audio that he just reviewed? No, of course not. Because the Tecton lower speakers are still great speakers. Whether I said it was great three months ago or eight months ago or a year ago, it doesn't change the fact how I felt about them a year ago. Greatness is still greatness. A great speaker will never become a bad speaker. A bad speaker will always be a bad speaker. So there's the difference there. So if you're wondering if you bought a speaker that I recommended three months ago, 10 months ago, a year ago, two years ago, and you're wondering, huh, is it a bad speaker now? Is it outdated now? Well, I'm here to tell you that no, speaker design has not changed that much in just a few years, right? Unless you have a vintage speaker, which will be a drastic change to a modern speaker, and that's a whole other topic, it really hasn't changed that much. And it's okay if you have a vintage speaker too. Vintage speakers can sound great too. And if you're enjoying vintage speakers and if you are having a blast with it, I will go for us to say, don't even bother 
looking at modern speakers because they do things very differently from vintage speakers. And you may hate it. It's worth it to try if you want to, but if you're enjoying your system, I don't see why you would change anything in the first place. It's only when you don't like a certain thing about your system that you should consider changing something. Someone that promises you a unicorn, that promises you the greatest thing ever, is not really telling you the whole truth. And why I say that is because truth is that there is no perfect speaker that does everything well altogether. Because inherently, there's always compromises with a speaker design, an amplifier design, preamplifier design, it doesn't matter what it is, there's always a compromise. Let's say that you made the best box speaker in the world. Well, you just made a compromise because you decided to go with a box speaker instead of an open baffle or a electrostatic speaker. Well, <laughs> vice versa as well, right? Open baffle, bass performance, again, you have to add subwoofers and the integration there could be uh, not as good as a fully integrated unit. Again, all hypothetical, but you get the point. There's always a compromise with every single system. You may have the best bass performance in your system, but your mid-range and high frequency may not be as good when you're using a tube amplifier with a you know, high efficiency speaker. Again, trade-off. There's always a trade-off. So what is important to you, you have to find out your taste and really dial in there. If I'm reviewing an electrostatic speaker and you just know that's not your thing, it doesn't matter what I say in the review of how great of an electrostatic speaker it is because you don't like it. You don't like that sound. And if you know that for yourself, then you know the right thing to do is not just go and buy that speaker. So at the end of the day, really ignore your friends, ignore your you know, YouTuber, reviewer, whatever it is, and really drown out the noise and focus on what your preference is and finding that is the first thing you should do in this hobby. And don't get me wrong, friends are great. You know, having opinions of your friends are great. My friend Tujin, I get his opinion all the time, but that doesn't mean that it changes my opinion or what I'm gonna put in my system. You know, it's kind of ironic because sometimes I see in forums, Facebook groups, or in even in the comment section of my videos where people are discouraging others because of what they like. For example, some people go like, oh, I heard full cows, they're the greatest thing, someone's fiber sucks. You know, someone's fiber rocks, full cows sucks. And they have this debate about which one is better, when in reality, this hobby is about individual preference. So it's kind of ironic to me how they are having this argument because they don't see eye to eye. It's perfectly normal and perfectly fine in my eyes for someone to like full cow, whereas other person might like someone's fiber totally different sound. And it makes perfect sense for someone to like single driver units while some other people may like dual concentric designs or electrostatic speakers or what have you. So really, it really depends on taste. And there's nothing wrong with what you like because you're the one that has to listen to that system and you're the one that's enjoying it, it's your system. So right now, I'll tell you what I used to tell my high-end clientele when I used to work at the high-end retail store. And that's that, Try to find out what you like about your system first before finding out things that you don't like about it. And then separate the two and then try to go from there. And I would ask this question and sometimes I would get answers like, well, I don't really dislike anything about my system. I just want something better. Well, what is better then, right? It, at that point, you're just looking to spend more money. If you want actually better, then you need to understand what is better for you. So I'll just leave it at that. Just don't follow the hype, follow what you are looking for for your system. So that's pretty much it. If this video was helpful, please leave a like. It does really help my channel out and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.